this is Yani and welcome back to my channel. I blissfully create videos on personal finance, self-development, and leadership. And if you're new here on my channel, I hope I could add value to you through the contents that I create. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell because I post videos weekly. Today's video is all about how I manage my liquid assets or my cash, 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 and cash. Just a side kwento, I really wanted to create a video about this. Pero naisip ko, baka ako lang yung sobrang daming bank account. Then when I was looking for inspos on YouTube, nakita ko yung video ni Nicole Alba, one of my favorite YouTubers. Nakita ko meron din pala siya ng money system. So that's the inspo for today's video. I'm also saying hi to Nicole, one of my favorite YouTubers and definitely an inspiration for this channel. So I hope dumating yung time na panoorin mo din yung videos ko pag sikat na ako like you. Ayan. <laughs> so today is the day isisiwalat ko na ang lahat, lahat, lahat. Char. <laughs> Um, last week, I made a content about how I tracked my money and may nakuha akong question from one of my closest friends that, okay, ito na yung the way mo i-distribute, paano mo siya nilalagay sa iba-ibang bank accounts. So for today's video, I will be sharing with you one of the most important aspects of my personal finance, which is my liquid assets. So andyan yung wallet ko, yung credit cards ko, yung bank accounts ko, yung e-wallets ko, lahat yan isashare ko sa inyo. Before we start, I want to add this quick segment kung saan niya highlight ko yung favorite kong comment from the past video. And for today's comment, ito from Anjanet Calonzo. She said, Oh, hi Coach Yanni. Kaka-check ko lang nung sa Koda Tracker may follow-up na vid na. Comment muna bago watch. So, natutuwa naman ako na nagko-comment kayong iba nag-watch, hindi naman nagko-comment, diba? So yeah, thank you so much, Anjanet, for uh, watching my video, supporting my contents, and I really appreciate you. I hope I could meet you soon. Let's start with my cash. I actually have here two wallets. So, isang malaki, isang maliit. This one is my main wallet and this one is what I usually bring especially when the lockdown started because to be honest I don't use cash anymore so wala kayong makikita ang cash sa wallet ko kasi unang una I don't go out number two is that may virus mas madaling mag makuha yung virus pag sa cash so I don't really keep cash anymore Minsan lang, minsan lang. So, let's start with the first wallet. This wallet was actually gifted to me by my previous boss, Ding Dong Dantes. So, I keep it. And even if I have a lot of new wallets there, ito pa rin yung ginagamit ko. Kasi partner, partner kami dito. Anyway, this one, I have, of course, Nick Jonas and me. <laughs> Para lang as inspiration. Nick! Nick! And then I have all my debit cards here. I have my other credit card here, sa other side. Kasi, um, importante sa wallet na magkahiwalay ang debit card at credit card. Because ang debit card is positive, and credit card is utang and negative. And pag magkasama sila, mahahawa yung inyong uh, debit card sa energy ng credit card. And guys, another wallet tip is dapat wala siyang mga cheche bureche sa wallet nyo. So, ako, I only have a couple of things here that you might be familiar with. So, I have my Starbucks card, my SMAC or SM card, and of course, my coffee bean. So, if you guys don't know yet, I'm actually a coffee addict. So, kailangan ko tong mga to. But yeah, that's about it. Um, usually, I just put my cash here. But again, wala hong cash. So in short, this is just where I keep all my cards. Now let's go to the smaller wallet. I use this wallet because now I always bring small bags. So this one cash at talaga kaysa nakakalat yung cash sa wallet sa bag natin rather. This one very simple. Actually, I just put Lucky Charm money lang one dollar, and then usually I just bring one credit card, one debit card, and my office ID. So wag yun ang tignan diyan maganda. But yeah, that's my wallet. This next part is all about my bank accounts. I actually have nine bank accounts and two credit cards and 
lahat yun may specific purpose. Ako kasi, ayoko nang halo-halo yung money. I used to be like that. So, narealize ko, dapat para siyang jar, sa jar management, literally, isa-isang jars. And, ang ginawa ko lang is, iba-ibang bank account. So, parang, the way I see it, is iba-iba siyang wallets na nilagay, nalalagyan ko ng pera for a specific purpose. I'll be starting with my security bank. First one is my savings account. So, yung savings account ko, nandito pumapasok yung commissions ko from FWD. Um, this is what I use to pay my team, yung mga support people ko under my team, and to pay all my responsibilities in a month since majority of my income comes from this. So, the next part is my Easy Access account. Nalaman ko to nung gumawa kami ng podcast episodes ni Joy Spring. Uh, meron pa lang ganito sa Security Bank. Kumuha ko nito actually kasi kailangan ko ng checkbook for my real estate stuff. So, kailangan ko to. But, kasama na, kasama na talaga tong dalawa. Like, package na siya guys. And, I think sobrang late ang maintaining balance ito. Around 25,000 lang. And you will have all of these. Last one from Security Bank is my credit cards. So, itong credit card ko is for my insurance policies, for my monthly bills. Nakakonect din to sa PayPal ko. So, pag mga FB ads, ganyan, or anything that I need online, I really use this one na regular basis. So, alam ko na monthly, ito yung kailangan kong bayaran na credit card. And the reason why kumuha ako ng credit card from Security Bank is for my travel purposes. Next is BDO account. So, yung BDO account ko, I have a debit card. Uh, this one naman I opened before for my payroll when I was working in Yes Pinoy Foundation. So, dito yung payroll ko before. Now, I use this for my short-term goals like home improvements and all. So, lahat ng side hustles ko dito ko pinapalagay yung pera. So, yung mga for content, yung mga brand collabs, lahat dito pumapasok yon because for short-term goal ko na pang bayad ng home improvement ko soon. The last account I opened before the pandemic happened. So, never ko pa to nagamit pero mostly digital ko siya nagamit talaga. My passbook account from BDO. Inopen ko siya before the pandemic hit because supposed to be ito kalalagay emergency fund ko before I had my digital bank. So before na dito yung emergency fund ko. Pero now um, I'm still keeping it. I was supposed to close it this week, but I'm still keeping it because I'm opening a new business. So dalawa yung business ko. Yung isang business ko dito kasi ilalagay. So kasi usually yung mga kasama ko dun sa business is BDO den. So sakto dito ko na lang ilalagay. This one is the last one from BDO. I have a credit card. Um, I use it kapag lumalabas ako ngayong lockdown kasi maliit lang naman yung ano nito, credit limit nito. Pero ang maganda dito is usually may freebies o kaya may discounts kapag ka BDO yung gamit mo. Next one is from BPI. So, I have my BPI account because I opened this for my business Little Big Help kasi lahat ng business partners ko doon um, BPI sila and yung partner namin which is Common Room PH by the way guys check them out on YouTube also and on Instagram Common Room PH and of course my business Little Big Help PH so dati dito talaga pumapasok yun but now um, I'm gonna be transferring yun kasi it's considered as my side hustle I'll be putting it sa isa kong BDO account which is yung pang short term goals ko and then this one I will be dedicating this for another business that I'm gonna be opening. Next one is my CIMB account. So, it's a digital bank, but I have three accounts dito. Yung Upsave, Fastsave, and Gsave. So, actually, meron din akong card ni CIMB. Pinadala nila ako. I think kapag naka 100k ka sa Upsave, or kapag nag-open ka ng Fastsave, meron kang card na ganito, which is pag nag-withdraw kayo, guys, wala siyang fee. For my Upsave account, this gives me 4% per annum na interest rate. This is where I keep my emergency fund. Just a quick background, and lagi ko naman ito pinag-uusapan, na um, digital banks offer higher interest rates because wala silang mga OPEX masyado and that they just operate online. So, I really maximize the interest rates that they give. Number two is Fast Save. So, yung Fast Save account ko, this one is really intended for my company, which is Peri.Consol. So, I put money there. Meron akong percentage.
percentage every month that I put there para kung may mga immediate needs kami as the company, hindi ko mafe-feel na galing siya sa savings account ko, but iniipon ko siya for the company. Lastly is the G-Save, and I think marami naman sa inyo yung gumagamit nito. May G-Save, ma-access mo rin siya sa CIMB app, pero pwede mo rin siyang ma-access sa GCash app mo. So, for G-Save, I use this for my monthly allowance. So, like, I usually buy kasi stuff on Marketplace, Shopee, Lazada. So, lahat yun nakakonect sa GCash ko para mas madali akong makapag-control um, kung magkano yung pwede kong gastusin. And lastly, I also have a Tonic um, account. My Tonic account is actually for my time deposit. So, nag-try lang ako doon because they offer 6% per annum. So, tinry ko nung nag-open sila, naglagay ako ng time deposit. I also have a Stash account pero sobrang liit lang, guys. Like, tigpipiso lang ata or tigpo 100 pesos lang binigay namin doon magbabarkada. Now, let's go to my e-wallet. So, I actually have four e-wallets. The first one is Gcash and yan naman siguro yung pinaka-common sa lahat and lahat na makakausap mo, Gcash mo na lang sa akin, i-Gcash mo na lang sa akin. Number two is my GrabPay. So, so, for all my delivery needs, grab pay talaga from food, padala, etc. To be honest, sa mga food delivery, mas mahal sa grab. Pero, because I use their grab pay, I get yung mga freebies, yung mga discounts. And at the same time, what I like about grab pay is that free yung cash-ins and withdrawals or transfers. Number three is my PayPal account. So yung PayPal, hindi ko siya masyado naintindihan. But my best friend told me na mas protected daw kasi yung card mo kapag ka naka-PayPal. Kasi syempre, kung magkana lang yung laman ng PayPal mo, yun lang yung pwede ng magamit ng hacker if ever. Number four, lastly, is my Shopee Pay. Personally, yung Shopee Pay, ginagamit ko siya kasi lagi ka may free delivery kapag Shopee Pay yung gamit mo. So, what I do is yung Shopee Pay ko, lalagyan ko siya ng pera from either my bank or my GCash. Tapos, kung magkano yung laman niya, alam ko na yun lang yung pwede kong spend sa shop. Let's now go to how I distribute my money to all my 9 accounts. Yup, 9. A bulk of my income comes from my security bank account. So, what I do is that from my budget, I transfer it to my bank tracker. Tapos, makikita ko kung magkano yung transfer ko per bank at the end of the month. So, for example, every 31st ko talaga ginagawa lahat to. So, for example, 31st ngayon, nakasulat doon is I have a 2,000 monthly allowance for my fund money. For example, so what I do is since yung fund money ko is for GCash, I just transfer my money to GCash. 2000 from security bank i transfer it to gcash i just base my budget from my income from the previous month so considered freelancer ako or entrepreneur so hindi talaga fixed yung kinikita ko iba iba so kailangan ko talagang mag budget every month number 2 is that i have a bank tracker so na mention ko na tina-transfer ko siya sa iba ibang bank yes sa aking personal finance tracker meron din ako ng bank tracker so nakalista doon lahat ng banks and magkano yung kailangan kong i-transfer each. Number three is I pay my bills. So, from my security bank, I mentioned earlier that all my bills are in security bank. So, if for my credit card, I just save it first because iba yung deadline ko for credit card for security bank. But, I transfer na yung mga kailangan kong bayaran. Like, my VAs, uh, my person, my team, my tithes for the foundation that I support. I support I personally support Akai Foundation. Medyo focus sila on transformation and giving second chance to girls and boys. Merong mga hindi magagandang past. So, binibigyan nila, they focus on transformation. So, every month, I just give there. I have four scholars, if I'm not mistaken. Three in college and one in senior high school. So, alam ko ang daldal ko and binilisan ko magsalita kasi ang dami kong gustong i-share about each bank account. But, the main takeaway here is that you have to be very intentional when you open a bank account. And don't be shy also to close if it no longer serves the purpose of the account. This has been working for me for the past two years. So hopefully yung sistema na to ay makatulong din sa inyo when you want to fix your finances. Thank you so much again to everyone supporting me. Malapit na pa ako mag 1K subscribers and I wanna look back at this moment kapag ka, ano, 
Kapag marami na subscribers, alam ko sa support ninyo ako. But, yeah, thank you so much, guys. And I hope you could like this. You could comment below. And follow me on my socials. Here are my socials. I hope you could follow me. I'm very active on Instagram. So, connect with me there if nakatulong tong mga videos ko sa inyo. And, yeah, thank you guys for supporting. And see you on the next one. Bye!